My name is Cynthia Jimenez, and I'm 26 years old. I consider myself to be a New Yorker, even though I was born in Ecuador. The first time I arrived to the United States, I was five years old. After I finished high school, it was impossible for me to attend college due to my immigration status. In 2012, the Obama administration came out with a legislation of what is known as Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. This law has given me the opportunity to attend college and to start a promising career in dental hygiene. As of now, I'm attending Costas Community College. I expect to get the most out of, out of my education and use my skills to help the community I grew up in. In order to reach my full potential, I need a miracle. And I strongly believe that Obama's plan can be part of a miracle I and many others need in order to pursue our dreams. Coming from a low-income immigration family and, being, and not being able to qualify for financial aid or any types of help from the government, I have no other way but to pay for intuition for out of my pocket in order to get an, edu an education. It makes it harder for students like me to worry every day about money for college. When it comes to students enrolling in classes, full-time student intuition and fees for community college. $4,500 um, per year. This makes it difficult for students who have who need to have jobs, who attend college, and other who other parents or or parents who have kids and to attend classes to be able to focus on the studies. To this day, I have maintained a perfect attendance, which proves that I'm determined to push myself to a goal to, to my goal to a four-year college. President Obama once said that. What makes someone American isn't just blood or birth, but alliance to our funding principles about faith in the idea that anyone from anywhere can write the next chapter of our story. Being undocumented is a current constant fear, a constant of being taken from your family and being taken from your home. While enrolling for college, the fear was also a constant. When I when I had to do applications, there were questions about your immigration status, which reawakened the fear in my family and me. It came to a point when they said, don't go to college because they will know you are undocumented, and they will take you away from us. That fear played a big role, a big role in me, but I didn't allow it to stop me. I had to have courage and motivation, and just because I'm undocumented doesn't mean I should quit. My job, my dreams don't end here. Just because I don't have the right documents to succeed, I want to have more for my future and to become a successful person. This motivates me to earn a degree. Fill out college applications was the first step to achieve it. My courage of wanting to have more in my life is not only for myself. I'm, saying, I'm setting an example of my younger siblings and my future children. When it's time to apply for college, they shouldn't have fear I had. Even if they did, I would like them to be able to stand up for themselves and pursue their dreams without worrying about these fears or to expect of, or expenses of intuition. Because it's the only way that the only way to achieve success is to make a difference in their lives. This is why, against all problems, is even more more uh, motivation and determined to achieve all my goals. I support Obama Obama's plan for free community college, but I also will like to see undocumented students benefit from this great proposal. Thank you very much.